electric vehicles are revolutionizing our world today. Companies like Tesla are leading the charge to a better tomorrow. And even some companies are developing technology such as hydrogen fuel. But one company got into a problem. The technology they promised didn't exist. How did this happen? And what started this whole facade? Today at Finance Per, we'll learn about the story of Trevor Milton and Nikola. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. In 2016, 35 year old Trevor Milton stood on stage, passionately presenting his groundbreaking creation, the Nikola One Truck. With infinite charisma and energy, he aimed to revolutionize the trillion-dollar trucking industry with a new form of fuel, hydrogen. With promising both cost-saving and environmental benefits, Trevor Milton was a man on a mission. The Nikola One was hailed as a game-changer, attracting the attention of major players like Bosch and General Motors. But the shocking truth was that it was all a lie. The truck was merely a shell without an engine, and Trevor's claims were pure fiction. But how did it all start? Now, to understand how this web of lies unfolded, we must trace Trevor's journey. Born in 1982, he faced a challenging childhood, losing his mother to cancer at a young age. These hardships fueled his ambition, leading him to start his own companies, including ventures in security alarms and vehicle power plants despite his lack of formal knowledge in these fields. But there's nothing wrong with trying, right? Yes, but his ventures often involved overpromising and financial discrepancies, and he managed to sell them for a huge amount of money. In 2014, Trevor Milton founded Nikola Motors, positioning the company as a leading force in the business of environmentally conscious transportation. Nikola's ambitious mission was to revolutionize the trucking industry by harnessing the power of hydrogen to power its trucks. This audacious project quickly attracted attention, with Trevor Milton at the forefront of the electric and hydrogen-powered vehicle movement. And with huge anticipation, Trevor unveiled the Nikola One truck during a grand event in 2016. He confidently proclaimed the Nikola One was fully operational ready to transform the way goods were transported across the world. The truck was presented as the top of technological advancement, capable of delivering on the promises of cleaner, more efficient, and sustainable transportation. But what the world didn't know was that behind the scenes, the Nikola One truck was far from the awe-inspiring creation the Trevor had presented. In reality, it was a little more than an elaborate prop incapable of performing the feats it had been marketed for. The truth slowly began to surface, and the facade crumbled as mounting evidence exposed the lies between Trevor's claims and Nikola's technology. Despite the growing skepticism and scrutiny surrounding the company, Nikola managed to secure partnerships with prominent industry players, further preserving the illusion of innovation. In a move that took many by surprise, the company opted to go public in 2020 through a reverse merger, a financial maneuver that allowed Nikola to join the ranks of publicly traded companies without the stringent scrutiny associated with a traditional initial public offering or IPO. The aftermath of Nikola's public listing was then followed by a sudden rise in the company's stock price, briefly catapulting its market value past that of established automotive giants like Ford. But just like anything that goes to the top fast, it will go down quickly too. But Trevor Milton kept making big promises. One of them was about a groundbreaking high-density battery technology. But here's the tricky part. Nikola didn't actually make this battery. They got it from another shady company. When people found out about this, things started going from bad to worse. Then, there was this report from Hindenburg Research, which painted a bad image of Nikola and Trevor Milton. They claimed that Trevor and the company were telling lies and scamming the public. This report made people lose their trust in Nikola even more. 
To make things worse, Trevor Milton decided to quit as the CEO, and then the government got involved, trying to find out what really happened to the company. In 2021, just a year after going public, Trevor found himself at the center of a legal storm as he faced allegations of securities fraud. These accusations stemmed from his alleged involvement in a deceptive scheme, where he stood accused of spreading false information to investors and distorting the truth about Nicholas' groundbreaking technology. But as the legal proceedings progressed, the under-pressure company he had once championed was caught in a downward spiral. Nikola Corporation, once heralded as an innovative force in the electric vehicle industry, now faced a stark reality. Its stock price plummeted, sending shockwaves through the financial markets. Investors, who had once eagerly poured their faith and capital into the company's vision, now found their trust eroding, replaced by skepticism and disillusionment. The legal battle and the accompanying media circus only served to worsen Nicholas' problem. News outlets dissected every development in the case, further damaging the company's reputation and causing more uncertainty in the minds of shareholders and investors. The once promising future of Nikola now seemed shrouded in doubt, with the outcome of the legal proceedings holding the potential to reshape the company's destiny. Trevor, for his part, remained resolute in his plea of not guilty, maintaining that he had done nothing wrong. But the weight of the legal system and the skeptical eyes of the public bore down heavily upon him. His personal and professional reputation hung in the balance, as the world awaited the verdict that would ultimately determine his fate and that of the company that once promised a bright future. Nicholas Rice and Fall highlighted the dangers of investors blindly following charismatic leaders and believing in grand promises without due diligence. The story of Trevor Milton and Nikola Motors serves as a warning of deception and the consequences of unchecked ambition. But for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Burr. Have a great day.